Merhabalar ben Şükrü. Peer to Peer'in bu bölümünde kripto kapılı olarak bilinen Tarla ve Volker çifti ile birlikte olacağız. Bu çiftimiz birbiriyle çok uyumlu ve çok yetenekli bir çift. Şarkılar söyleyebiliyorlar, viral videolar çekiyorlar ve gerçekten güzel içerikler oluşturuyorlar. Umarım bu bölüm hoşunuza gidecektir. Hi Carla and hi Volker. So basically welcome crypto couple. Thank Hello. you, happy to be here. Thanks for having us. Yeah, really happy to have you guys on the show. So fun fact, you may be the, like one of the only two accounts that I follow with, with a crypto in their hand. <laughs> so, we, we get that a lot. <laughs> yeah. It's you and Crypto Clocks, like who's a dear friend of mine. I know him for a long time too. And yeah, you guys are just so amazing. I think, let me put it straight. You may be the most talented people that I have talked to in a very, very long time. You flatter us. <laughs> Appreciate yeah, it. You guys make amazing videos. You can sing, you can edit, you can write scripts. So. For me, I'm really curious, how is life for you? In How is your day, daily life, basically? Yeah, well, we, we both still, uh, we have day jobs still, so we, we don't get paid for anything that we do for this. We do it because we, really, uh, we really just care about and it. And because it's fun. And because we have some fun with it. it you have be... to enjoy doing it when you're oh, yeah. behind a computer editing for as long as I am. Yeah, she's the one working all the magic in Final Cut and all of the editing and everything else, so uh, I just handle getting her wine during those periods. Uh, but we... we... <laughs> We still have our day jobs. It's a family business, and so we're we're fortunate that we have that sort of security that we're able to uh, to say what we want uh, with a lot of freedom online. Yeah, so. that's important. Yeah. So I'm also like kind of doing my fiat job, and this is also like a side gig for me because I I really love it. I don't like being on the camera or anything, but you know I just love talking about Bitcoin, and I love talking yeah. to Bitcoiners. So, I mean, like, what I'm curious is, like, you use a lot of props and, like, you have really nice scripts. Who comes up with the scripts, for example? So, like, we co-write pretty much everything. Yeah. Uh, you know, it'll literally just be one day one of us wakes up with an idea and we just start writing. Uh, one of our funniest stories, actually, it ended up being our first video to hit a million views was um our gold one the gold yeah. because you're old and the way that started was um so he would he i had, was on some calls in the morning because he with, his team is in europe so he has to wake up very early and it may have been actually with part of my team was in turkey at that time I yeah i remember um, but, but I, I mean, you I, can I, describe the I'm, I'm on a call you know i'm very i'm in my my fiat job mindset i'm very serious you know and uh you know talking about whatever you know business issues we were having that day. Like and, I had just woken up. And, and I look over and because out of the corner of my eye, I see something and I look over and Carla's in the room beside me and she has a gold bar. Well, it's not a real gold bar. It's, it's a, a door you stop. know, $10 from Amazon or something like that. I it's mean, a door it stop. Hard for her to lift the actual yeah. gold bar. Yeah, exactly. Like, but yeah. I think a real gold bar would make a better door stop because they're, as yeah, you said, is. very heavy. But so I see her and she's holding the bar and she just uh, <laughs> licks it from top to bottom. And I, I had no, a camera too. I, I wasn't just yeah, no. I, but I, 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 she catches my eye too, and I'm like, what? what what's and I'm happening? like, wait till off the call. I have an idea. And so then, you know, the rest of the, the call, I'm just very distracted. I'm like, what? Yeah. What does she have planned here? And, and then she, I was like, gold, but make it chocolate, like chocolate commercial, making fun of gold. But you yeah. know, it was just like, wake up. I saw the thing. I was like, eh. <laughs> and like literally, then it got a million views by the end, and it was just like, how did this happen? Yeah, I, <laughs> you guys have people. One million views or like close to million views videos i think yeah. so i i think the other closest one that i know is as close to a million views is the watermelon and sailor there's no second yeah. best one which oh, is yellow did a, a amazing job with that I, I don't know how we thought of it but it's brilliant that's the thing that's the best ones you don't overthink it's just something yeah. pops into your head and yeah yeah it works. creativity is like yeah it's special it's And it's really nice that we're able to co-write because that's like, you know, it's funny. People always assume we have these distinct mm -hmm. roles, right? Um, It is distinct in the sense that she does all of the I do editing all the editing for all the production. videos. And that part is distinct. And makeup, hair, and costumes, but... <laughs> I, do, I don't have to wear makeup, luckily, for, for my uh, roles. But with the writing, it's really nice because he's definitely more 
technically adept um, and knowledgeable on the Bitcoin side. Like, you know, I know general things about I mean, more than most people, but mm -hmm. he's also very wordy. Right. So he'll write a line and like it'll be really smart. But I'm like, this isn't funny at all. I'm like, this will take an hour just to read. So like we have a good balance where he'll put something, I'll fix it. And then we kind of go back and forth to make it as educational, but funny at the same time. Yeah. yeah. We, we keep each other oh, in check a little bit. In you have sense. also like the nerd defining stuff embedded in the videos. So uh, you have to, right? Can understand or yeah. Because we want to make stuff that's also, yes, uh, trying to appeal to a, a wide audience. Like we're not trying to make videos that just appeal to Bitcoiners. Mm -hmm. you know, right. We're trying to make videos that appeal to people who haven't yet discovered Bitcoin. Even though it's hard to like but, reach them. Which is difficult because the echo chamber of the algorithm in social media does not really make that easy uh, to do. It's but crazy. We try. Like, uh, a year ago, or like not a year ago, like three years ago, I had like maybe one sixth of followers, but I had more impressions. And it mm. was like the depth of the bear market, you know, like, yeah. Yeah. So the algorithm is, eh, it's there. The way yeah. you know that you made it out is like the last video. We've been trying to not use the word Bitcoin as much until mm -hmm. the very end. And that's very intentional because we're hoping and we'd like try not to put it in like the tweet itself just because we're hoping it'll reach other like traditional finance people or anyone in any other mm -hmm. sector. And then you get comments and quote tweets that are like, uh, I like this video until Bitcoin at the end. Yeah. But then I'm oh. like, yeah, we made it out. But, but you agree with us up <laughs> yeah. until the Bitcoin part. You agree with us up until then. So maybe give yeah. us a shot, you know. Maybe you'll, yeah, maybe they'll start thinking and they'll agree with the letter part too. So, yeah. So I know this channel is also like that. So we talk a lot of about everything. There's like an architecture stuff, like art, uh, you know, gaming and everything so the idea is to shield them lightly yep <laughs> i like the that best. otherwise it gets like too up on your face and and but this program that we are on right now is okay it's bitcoin you know i talk to all kind of bitcoiners because i like to show people that you can be part of bitcoin no matter what kind of skills you have because it's so multidisciplinary totally that appeals to everyone so Amen. that's part of the reason you know because some people you know i mean there's plenty of haters online and will think i'm obnoxious or annoying but one of the reasons i like to dress up and you know i've always loved fashion is because yeah. i want to show you know to maybe other women out there or anyone like look you can mm -hmm. be some stylish lady and really love this like you could be yeah. anyone there's not some specific mold of, no. uh, of a Bitcoiner. That's the whole point is that you can believe and, and do of, anything you want. And one of my favorite comments that we get actually a lot recently is like, I sent this to my wife. Like I show this to my wife and I'm like, good, share it yeah. to all the wives. I, <laughs> I like the comments that say, I, I showed this to my mom because yeah, that's, that's like really too. sweet. It's like, oh, if you're willing to show it to your mom, like that's, a, that's the highest praise. We oh, my get. parents saw your videos. So there we go. Yeah. Thank you for showing them. <laughs> Actually, I just like made my dad watch like the defiance video like yesterday. Yeah. And he's like, oh, like, because, you know, like he does farming and he also like changes songs like, you know, the wall, the song. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, of yeah. course. Yeah. 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 He's like, we don't need no artificial insemina insemination. <laughs> or, like he changes <laughs> them, you know, like it's. I love that. <laughs> yeah. So. <laughs> It sounds like he should be maybe making yeah. some parody videos. Yeah. Yeah. Like, you know, he's also better with Bitcoin. Like a couple of years ago, he just thought they were Pokemon cards. Yeah. So. Hey, everybody, <laughs> everybody starts somewhere, right? It takes, yeah. I mean, it takes years for even, you know, somebody who's of a younger generation to get it. It took mm -hmm. years for me to fully be like, oh, wow. Now my eyes are open. That's I mean, the thing. I think, I think it's funny because sometimes Bitcoiners can be a bit impatient with other people like yeah. learning it and like sometimes resort to being mean or whatever and even i find myself sometimes when we're producing i'm like ah i've said the same thing like 10 times but mm -hmm. i'm like you have to say it a thousand times like because yeah it's like reiteration like it's still not even scratching the surface and, and there's definitely a difference between like getting frustrated with say a, a phd computer science oh, he academic loves fighting with people or, like or, or, or a journalist who's been saying the same thing about bitcoin for, for the last eight ten yeah. years okay yeah. that 
I have no sympathy for you, you know, or patience for, but for the average person, uh, you know, like I us, mean, it takes a while to, even, to get it. But once you get it, then you, you can't close your eyes again. Your eyes are open. And if there's so many forces we're battling against, right? Like right now there was Bukele just had a interview with Tucker Carlson on Fox News. Amazing. which got a lot of exposure, yeah. but of course now today Bloomberg releases a hit piece another hit piece right saying that el salvador's bitcoin is an absolute failure it's so it's just like for... million dollar gamble mm -hmm. yeah. it, which is the, like the exact same piece that i think it was reuters ran yeah. literally the day after it was like september 8th of okay. last year a day after and they're like well it's a failure it's been a day but it's and like, not the whole country's adopted it so it's many like, forces though we have to try to get through and like people are gonna <laughs> trust uh like last episode I did was with uh, John Dennehy, who is doing the my first Bitcoin classes in El Salvador. Mm. Very nice. It's amazing. Like, you know, like the things that, you know, he told me, like, there's a lot of progress happening. A lot more people are learning. And yeah. And the funny thing is that he's actually a journalist and he cannot do his job anymore because he, he's in El Salvador and he cannot stay biased. Uh, right. he's biased you know he wants them to succeed and but most of the journalists they they don't care it's just whatever no. it's just a just a paycheck it's not about finding the truth anymore yeah but that's also what kind of i love about what we do is because you know you don't have to have a blue check or be a journalist to reach a lot of people thanks to you know twitter tiktok what have you like we can actually get truthful messages out and kind of fight back thanks to content creation so at least we have that <laughs> yeah. so you started initially with tiktok right mm -hmm. yeah and are you still active on tiktok i don't use it so i don't know if you guys are or we were like so we started the tiktok which i was actually very much against tiktok like in general before all this but it all just was very random we ended up going viral, like off the bat, got to like 20,000 followers in like a month. Very quickly. <laughs> and then, extremely quickly. And then it was just like shadow ban. This is when TikTok started like the Any sort down. of Bitcoin mention. Yes. And so, ever since then, we cannot even get above 5,000 views. So ever, like at all. Like we've literally not gone above 23 in over a year. Yeah. It's so cool. we stopped using it because it was like every time it was like your video is under review. Oh, your video violated this. There oh. was one time they had a video under review for like six or seven hours. I mean, usually it's it's maybe 15 minutes. And they don't share hour, it anymore. But... Like they don't share it to other people anymore. So I was like, yeah, I'm not spending my time on this anymore. Publish it, but they hold on the publishing part, too, which is the problem. So yeah. And that's why we switched to Twitter, because when the ban happened, we noticed like literally we went from traffic always being in like 80,000 whatever views to like maybe a thousand. <laughs> like it so, got, so, like, so something changed here in the algorithm where they say, OK, nope, we're not going to elevate this kind of content anymore. Yeah, right. And if the more people that follows you should just be the opposite. But oh, well, yeah, it was actually a lot harder to get started on Twitter, but you know, mm -hmm. once we did, it was, it got subsequently easier. I think Twitter yeah. also, you have to, especially like in Bitcoin Twitter, you have to kind of prove yourself a little bit. You have to show that, listen, we're authentic people or, you know, authentic NIMS, mm -hmm. you know, Twitter respects that. But you have to show that you have some decent intentions because yeah. Twitter is more, it's more about the conversation versus just yeah. Yeah. watching it kind of more passively on TikTok like and then flipping swipe. to the next one, flipping <laughs> to the next one. Twitter, it's like people want to engage. And I think that's a really powerful thing. Yeah, so when I'm on Twitter, let's say somebody is trying to talk to me because it's active. You, you are active on yeah. Twitter. You read yeah. and you try to respond. I cannot reply back to anyone, you know? Right. And my girlfriend is like, oh, well, you know, like, oh, well, look, I'm on Instagram and I can reply back to you. But whenever she is on Twitter, the same thing happens because, yeah, it's active uh, and versus passive uh, consumption of whatever visuals. Exactly. Or, yeah. And more stimulating, for better or worse. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, uh, what uh, is your favorite uh, video that you made? Ooh. That is tough. How have I never thought about it? I know. it's. <laughs> oh, well, okay. Very difficult and was very frustrating. But maybe my favorite was Bitcoin is dead. Because mm -hmm. that one's just absurd. 
Honestly, I, I have a I have a soft spot for all the videos where she sings in. There's a reason yeah. that I don't sing in any of the videos. I do not have a, a good voice for singing. You don't want to. You have a good voice. Oh, I have a good voice for speaking. You just speaking, can't get perhaps, the notes. But the singing yeah, you part. You really have a good speaking voice, by the way. So. I, I wish it. Tra thank you. I wish it translated into singing, but it's. You it's, have a nice singing voice too. Well, you not, just whenever we start not, to do it. He he changes the key. Now she's like, just being nice. But I. Well, you I mean, could be like me, like have a not so good speaking voice and not so good singing voice. So <laughs> it's okay. But yeah, I, I, I love the, the videos where, where she sings. And I think that songs are just generally so powerful. And like yeah. songs get stuck in your head. You know, yeah. a, a, just a, a video, a comedic video doesn't necessarily get stuck in your head. Maybe you remember, okay, you know, this was funny or that was funny. But a song can really get deep into your brain and you find yourself just singing it. Like, oh, nothing's worse than having my own voice stuck in my head, though. I'm like, stop. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's okay. Your own voice is the best one to have in your head, right? Hopefully, I also, hopefully not too many voices. I also but... love any video with gold. Gold yeah. is a really fun character to even, like interact with. And I, I, like I love watching him as gold. It's very. I fun. also like the Fiat character, by the way. Like, Me too. Yeah. It's it's fun. In though. a way, he's almost lovable, and you're like, but wait, yeah. <laughs> he just, he's just such a jerk, you know. But yeah. he he's very authentically a jerk, you no. Know? But it's it's fun to play the villain a little bit in that sense. But Gold's kind of nice because he's because he's, he's still the, hard money, yeah, right? He's, like, he's, yeah, Gold's yeah. still hard money. He but he's just he's old. Exactly. He's been around for a long time. Whoa! And we just got some whoa massive thunder here. If oh we, yeah. If we lose, if uh, sometimes we, we lose power. Occasionally but... we lose power. We're kind of in the middle of nowhere. We live um, in the woods. So if a tree goes down on the power lines and you don't see us, that that may be why. But okay, until I then, think, we're... I think we made it for this time because, yeah. like, would yeah. have been out already. Uh, yeah. So you are not living in a place where it's ideal to mine or something, basically. Not, no. not, not at the moment. Um, we we do have a miner that we uh, we use it for. It was a little S nine uh, J yeah. that we got secondhand. Um, we've been debating. He's more of a others, museum but, piece. But yeah, it's. I mean, if if nothing else, we have a, a beautiful piece of Bitcoin mining history. But yeah. we would like to start doing. Some we're home slowly mining. collecting things from like conferences, you know, swag and signs, and we're like, one day we're gonna put it all in like this museum and be like, this oh, was yeah. like the beginning. Yeah. I I really have a dream to see an actual Bitcoin museum somewhere, like with so many because there's so much like uh, material art that's like generated and also like small games to show how the history of money evolved like mm -hmm. you can't try to break that. something like gold but it's impossible or yeah you know. it reminds me of like going to the like a, a children's museum mm -hmm. when i was younger yeah. you know and you have some like interactive bits that that's a that's a nice addition bits yeah. well bits when, when, well because <laughs> we will build out a museum at some point so have, i think we have to incorporate like that feedback 30 years oh, yeah. yeah once once people decide that bitcoin is finally not going to die um and well, we can have a full obituary section. I mean, mm. first case, we can just make it resurrect. Yeah, right, exactly. exactly. Stuff like you hit them, it goes down and comes It's a pop-up. I love it. Yeah, like a, a, a whack-a-mole, but with, you know, oh, Bitcoin yeah. popping up each time. You're just trying to kill it and <laughs> it won't work. Or wack a badger or something like yeah. that. Love it. Yeah. So, yeah, guys, I think you are also, yeah, the couple that makes the most fun of Fed and EU and Fiat and somewhat gold. <laughs> so. More so the Fed and the, and the EU and the government, but gold gold needs to be, you know, poked yeah. fun at just a little bit, you know, it's yeah, had a good run. I know, like Peter Schiff, it happens because of Peter Schiff. Like, I know. <laughs> we just love him so much. <laughs> He's because like, whenever yeah. he talks about Bitcoin, we get like a uh, an uptick or whatever. Just, yeah. I know. He, I think he's like the most loved, hated Bitcoin. Yeah, honestly, you, 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 he gets a lot of passes. But I appreciate how much he sticks by it. Like, I mean, he is really he's steadfast. He's a character at this point. He, he is. He is. Yeah, he doesn't block anyone or yeah. no, no, no. He just does whatever he wants to do. Yeah. He's he's a good sport about it, and he's probably oh, yeah. had some pretty vicious things said to him by Bitcoin. I think he so. was tagged was, in the gold like, video like six hundred times. Yeah. Yeah. Like, Elon Musk's eggplant or whatever, you know, so, yeah, oh, well, so, yeah, uh, hope to see you guys in El Salvador. We can't wait. And really, thanks for this interview, and 
we'll see each other in the future. Definitely. You'll definitely see us there. We're happy yeah. to come back anytime. This has been fun. Oh, perfect. Benim çekerken çok keyif aldığım bu bölümün sonuna geldik. Bölümümüzü Satoshi TV üzerinden YouTube'da, Satoshi Radyo üzerinden de podcast olarak dinleyebilirsiniz. Lütfen kanalı takip etmeyi ve bildirimleri açmayı unutmayın. Önümüzdeki bölümlerde görüşmek üzere.